Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Ian Nickens with a look at your local headlines. Harpo's Bar and Grill in downtown Columbia is suing its neighbor, Veros LLC, over access to a shared door the bar uses as an emergency exit. The owners of Harpo's Bar and Grill claim they stand to lose $85,000 a month due to having to close a bar called 10 Below, a business they also own and operate in the same building. A new study by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics found women in Missouri are finding it harder to make the same amount as men for doing the same job. The study focused on the gap in Missouri. In 2015, for every $863 men earned, women earned $667. The study found the largest gap nationally occurs between men and women ages 45 to 54. A local organization is looking to give families in need a little bit of Christmas cheer. The Pay It Forward program is hosting a Christmas party for kids starting at 5 p.m. During the party, families in need are also able to take items that local resale and consignment shops have donated. It's called the Free Store. It's located in Stevens, Missouri, and it will be open today from 2 to 7 p.m. Thanks for watching. The Today Show will be right back. Good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Ian Nickens with a look at your local headlines. A plane accident caused delays at Columbia Regional Airport yesterday afternoon. The plane was taxiing when its landing gear collapsed and the plane hit the concrete. No one was hurt, but it took crews four hours to clear the scene. Following airport policy, the runway closed and an American Eagle flight to Dallas was delayed. The proposed Senate Bill 46 looks to intensify the punishment for those who assault or kill law enforcement officers. Under the proposed bill, the assault would be a Class A felony instead of Class B, and the person could get 10 to 30 years in prison or even life. Uh, Columbia police have arrested Carl Henson for his involvement in a shooting that started with a cell phone deal gone wrong. According to Columbia police, Henson agreed to meet another man to sell his cell phone. Officers say the buyer ran off with the phone. Henson then shot the other man in the leg. The man who was shot ran into the woods and later showed up to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Officers have located the handgun used in the shooting. Thanks for watching. The Today Show is next. 